Hello, today we're going to talk about pressure. Now, you have a sense of what pressure is. It's a force on pushed against some type of area, and you certainly don't want to get it wrong. Pressure can be very important. Now, pressure is quite important. Uh, underwater, again, 10 meters of water is an atmosphere, so it's 600 meters, uh, which is going to be about 60 atmospheres, so that's very heavy. We can see crush depth. Uh, that the submarine, uh, the, the steel hull, uh, cannot withstand that uh, 60 units of 10 meters of water. Uh, and so getting pressure correct is very important and pressure is a very significant force across an area that can lead to, well, in this case, catastrophic change. Uh, but it can also be harnessed for useful things like pressure in a piston uh, in order to get motion of a car, for example. How can we think about the magnitude or the strength of pressure? Well, a good reference point could be to imagine we're at the beach, sea level, that's kind of a reference, and ask how hard is the atmosphere pushing on us? Uh, we call that one atmosphere. What's, what's the magnitude or value of that? Well, because we're being pushed, we're in a fluid, uh, we're being pushed from the right, the left, the top, and the bottom. We don't really feel uh, the, the atmosphere. But if we were to suddenly remove the atmosphere below our feet and ask how much water do we have to hold up, it turns out we have to hold up water that's 10 meters tall. That's how much, that's a lot of water, right? Imagine trying to hold up 10 meters of water. That's something like uh, on the order of six human beings, imagine the circus and acrobats, shoulder to feet, shoulder to feet. That's how high 10 meters of water is. So you're trying to hold that much water. Uh, just as a calibration, if you're trying to do a uh, blow a balloon, trying to blow a balloon, um, the maximum that you can get from a pair of uh, good, healthy lungs might be on the order of 20% uh, uh, of that maximum pressure, or typically about 10% of that maximum uh, 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 pressure. Um, so 10% uh, of an atmosphere when you're gi giving your strongest breath to blow the balloon. Okay, let's talk uh, units of pressure. Again, if we have uh, pressure inside the pot, so it's, uh, we could have just air, the pressure would be then one atmosphere if it's at the surface of the earth. But we can also imagine having some water in it that we're heating up, uh, and that water as we uh, boil it, the pressure inside goes up. We could even seal it strongly and make what's called a pressure cooker, where we try to overpressurize it. We can imagine the pressure inside that pot. Well, nature has a pressure inside that pot, period. But humans, well, we're a little bit more complicated. We have many ways to explain it. We can use pascals, bars, kilopascals, megapascals. The, uh, the, 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 the unit scientifically accepted uh, most widely is pascal. Um, well, it has various definitions. So uh, 100,000 pascal is a bar. Um, why introduce a bar? Well, 100,000 pascals is typical of, uh, of uh, near the ocean at, uh, at sea level. It's actually 101,325 pascals. Well, let's just call it a round number, 100,000 pascals or uh, 10 to the 5 uh, pascals. Now, as we move around uh, the planet, Western Europe, Australia, uh, folks on the street use different things. Uh, in uh, Western Europe, well, a bar is common. Not everybody uses a bar in Western Europe, but it's more common. In Australia, kilopascals. In Australia, kilopascals, or 100 kilopascals is a bar. Um, in, uh, in China, megapascals, where mega is 10 to the 6, so one bar is 0.1 megapascals. Um, uh, in many places in uh, North uh, America, uh, pound per square inch, or PSI, is common. Um, and uh, one bar, or one atmosphere, 14.5 uh, PSI, so 14.5 uh, 
uh, PSI is the same as 100,000 pascals, where pascal is the uh, uh, international scientific unit, or 14.5 PSI. It's hard to say 100,000 pascals all the time, 100 uh, kilopascals. Um, in uh, India, uh, Korea, kilograms per square uh, centimeter, um, where uh, one bar is 1.02 kilograms per square centimeter, where it's understood that that's on the planet Earth. Uh, so the kilogram is in a gravitational field of the Earth, not Mars, not Jupiter, so on and so forth. Um, inches of mercury, um, that's still uh, commonly uh, used, especially in medical areas. So if, if uh, um, 29, one bar is 29 uh, inches of uh, mercury. Okay, so various types of, uh, of units that people use to describe the same thing. Nature just has one way of describing it. Nature is, but people come along. And of course, people are quite uh, creative. So uh, this is just an example of 22 uh, definitions of uh, pressure or ways to describe. Again, it's always the same pressure from the nature perspective, but humans have 22 or more ways uh, to uh, describe it. We see some that we've uh, spoken about, the bar, uh, the pascal. Let's dive in on one that is uh, less common. Uh, there's the piez. So the piez um, is in the meter ton second system system used in the Soviet Union from 1933 to 1955. Um, and one can go over and see that one piez is the same as one or defined as one uh, kilopascal. Okay, so other common things uh, that happen and, and why we're interested in pressure. Well, this fellow is having a bad day. Um, this person is illustrating kind of the tire pressures. So if you have, uh, if you ride a bike or know somebody who rides a bike, um, one can take a look at what should the pressure be? Well, an aluminum road bike, something like 80 PSI, keeping, keeping in mind that 14 and a half PSI is, uh, uh, is uh, a bar or, or one atmosphere. So that's about, uh, uh, let's see if we do the math quickly, that's about six, six bars or the equivalent of 10 meters of water six times, so 60 meters of uh, water. So in a very large uh, water pipe uh, going straight up, you could balance the pressure in that water pipe 60 meters high with uh, the pressure that's typically in the aluminum road bike. So that's a pretty high pressure. Down to a kid's bike, which is uh, a half to uh, two, two thirds of that. Um, other places that pressure uh, intersect your life. Um, if you uh, drive in a, a vehicle, uh, an automobile, uh, you can open up the passenger side door, take a look inside, you'll see a plate. On that plate, you will see recommendations for your tires. The front, if you have a tire gauge, should be 35 PSI, so that's uh, something like uh, 25 meters of uh, water, and this has nicely converted it into kilopascals for us, thank you very much. Front tire, rear tire, gives you an idea of the types of pressures that you uh, encounter in your everyday, day-to-day -day life, whether you've noticed or, uh, or not. Um, in your house, your house is very important, right? Um, the utility, the municipality uh, should be maintaining uh, the pressure. Something like 45 to 80 uh, PSI is uh, considered typical. Below 40 PSI is low water pressure. Um, above it's 80 PSI. Going too high, you might think high water pressure is good, but uh, your various uh, things in your house are designed uh, to have a certain pressure. So overpressure puts wears and tears on them and in a very difficult case even leads to uh, leakage. So you'd like to have that ideal pressure. Um, you know, if you turn the water off or the pressure is too low, that's bad for the shower. Um, too high, you'd like to have that ideal pressure in that 40 to uh, 80 PSI. Now what's interesting about that is people of course live in vertical structures known as uh, houses. Um, 45 to 80 PSI, well, uh, if we know that 14 and a half PSI is 10 meters of water, then that's about maybe four times that. So that's about 40 meters of uh, water. And so uh, a typical uh, house 
might be about uh, three meters per floor. So that would get you up to say, if you took 45 divided by three, that would get you up to uh, say um, 11, 11 meters or 11 stories. Okay, the heart, of course, is also quite important to each of us, uh, goes without saying. Um, so how, how is that? Well, the heart is a pump, boom, boom, boom. And, you know, you go in and you get a measurement from your doctor. Um, typically, you're looking for something that's called 120 over uh, 80 to be a healthy person. Um, uh, so the 120, the 80, when the pump... Uh, first sends liquid out, compresses out into your uh, pipes, your blood vessels, uh, veins and arteries. What's up to your arteries, up your uh, aorta? Well, that's your high pressure, which is 120. We'll talk about the unit. And then when the pump fills again, low pressure, uh, 75, and your heart's beating at about, say, 70 beats per minute, more or less. Different people have different rates, different pressures, but uh, Overall, the human machine, the human heart, it's not going to vary too much from 120, 75, 70. High blood pressure, you might get 140. Olympic athlete, 70 pulse might be, you know, 60 or 55. But overall, the dynamic range of the, the machine is not, uh, is not that large. But those small variations are very important for uh, human uh, health. So what is that measurement, 12075? Well, it's a historical uh, unit uh, called tor or millimeters of mercury. Um, it is akin to what we talked about, 10 meters of water. It's just that water has a lower uh, density than mercury. So uh, at, at ground level, the atmosphere uh, pushes like 10 meters of water or 760 millimeters of mercury. So we can talk about an atmosphere as the height of 10 meters of water, or we can talk about as the height of 760 millimeters of mercury uh, or tor. So if this is 120 millimeters of mercury and an atmosphere is 760 millimeters, then uh, that's about uh, one part in six, which is about 15%, uh, 16%. So uh, that's the, uh, the, 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 uh, equivalent pressure, um, about 15% uh, uh, of um, 10 meters of water that pushes the blood throughout the veins in your uh, uh, body.
70 megapascals to KSI. Now, what this video nicely shows is a weather balloon that's launched in space. So, of course, when it's launched from the surface of the Earth, it's at one atmosphere or 10 meters of water on um, the outside pressure on the balloon. And you see the size of the balloon. There's a GoPro always taking a picture of the balloon. So you can see as the atmospheric pressure goes down, which is shown in the upper right corner, um, the height and the pressure. As it goes up, the atmospheric pressure goes down. So the balloon pushes out and gets bigger. And you can see that in the GoPro video. Uh, and as one goes higher, the pressure of the atmosphere goes down, uh, starting at a thousand millibar or one bar, which is one atmosphere. Uh, and you can see it's now down to about mm, 20 millibar uh, at uh, 20 uh, kilometers. Uh, and uh, uh, then the balloon explodes uh, once you get uh, to a certain height and the weather station falls back to the ground for recovery for its data set. Pressure goes down as one goes up in the atmosphere uh, and pressure goes up as one goes down into the ocean. Uh, pressure falls from something like uh, 10 meters of water equivalent at the surface as one goes up into uh, uh, the atmosphere. Uh, we saw that it dropped to about uh, well 20 millibar which would then would be uh, something like 0.2 meters of water and as one goes down into the ocean uh, one saw that it went from uh, 10 meters of water to 600 meters of water or the force the pressure increased 60 fold uh, for the submarine. Acabou.